Cologne. With its 1.1 million inhabitants, the Cathedral City of Cologne is the fourth largest city in Germany after Berlin, Hamburg and Munich and the largest in the state of North Rhine-Westphalia. As a cultural and economic metropolis, the city has international significance. Thanks to the Cologne Cathedral and many other Romanesque churches and medieval buildings, but also due to various cultural events, the city has become a popular tourist destination. If you visit the city in the near future, be sure to take time for the following sites. Cologne Cathedral Cologne Cathedral is the landmark of Cologne and towers majestically over the city. With a height of 157.31 meters, the Cologne Cathedral is considered the third highest church in the world and is beaten by the Ulm Cathedral and the Basilica Notre Dame de la Paix in the Ivory Coast. Until 1884, Cologne Cathedral was considered the tallest building in the world. In 1996, the church was recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The special feature of the cathedral lies in the different architectural styles. This is due to the fact that the start of construction of the Cologne Cathedral dates back to the 13th century. It was only after centuries of construction had been halted that the cathedral was finally completed in the 19th century. This results in a unique harmonization between the Gothic and Late Gothic architectural styles. Cologne Cathedral is considered the most visited site in Germany and receives about 6 million tourists from all over the world every year. Guided tours of the cathedral are offered daily on various tourist portals. In this 60-minute guided tour you will learn everything you need to know about the history of Cologne Cathedral. Cologne Zoo Cologne Zoo is located in the real district rather in the north of the city. The zoo was opened in 1860 and is the third oldest zoo in Germany. Almost 700 species of animals from all continents and oceans live on an area of 20 hectares. Thanks to the constant development and the species' appropriate keeping of all animal species, the Cologne Zoo may also be called a nature conservation center. The centerpiece of the Cologne Zoo is the 2,000 square meter Southeast Asian tropical forest with free flying birds, flying foxes, reptiles and a variety of tropical plants. Other highlights at the zoo include the largest elephant park north of the Alps, the Jungle House for Great Apes and the Hippodrome, which opened in 2010. The zoo offers regular guided tours, where you can learn even more about the animals, their life in the zoo and in the wild. The Cologne Zoo is open daily and offers a unique experience for the whole family. Hohenzollern Bridge with Love Locks Cologne also has a lot to offer for couples in love. A visit to the Hohenzollern Bridge must not be missed, of course. Countless small padlocks in all sorts of colors adorn the entire railing. For years, couples in love have attached a small padlock to the railing of the bridge, provided with name and date, swear eternal love and fidelity and throw the key of the lock traditionally together into the Rhine. This custom originated in Rome. Couples in love also attach small locks to the Milvian bridge and throw the key into the Tiber together with the words per sempre. Should you visit the cathedral city with your partner, be sure not to forget to buy a small padlock before your trip. Cologne Cable Car Would you like to have a bird's eye view of Cologne? That's no problem with Europe's first suspended cable car over a river. Since 1957, it has been possible to cross the Rhine by means of one of the 44 gondolas high above the city. You will enjoy a unique view over the entire city. Connected between the Rhine Park on the right side of the Rhine and the zoo on the left, the cable car is a great way to combine the experience with a visit to the zoo. Several times a year, the operators of the Cologne cable car offer night rides. Enjoy the sea of lights over the entire city. Since 2008, a wedding gondola has been in operation for civil weddings. Getting married at a sunset far above the cathedral city, it hardly gets more romantic. Museum Ludwig the Museum Ludwig is located in Cologne's prime location, right next to the train station and Cologne Cathedral, and was founded in 1976. It is considered one of the most important European museums for contemporary art. The focus is on modern art since the beginning of the 20th century. After Paris and Barcelona, the Museum Ludwig offers the third largest Picasso collection. The museum is open from Tuesday to Sunday and is definitely worth a visit for friends of modern art. Chocolate Museum Do you like chocolate and have always wondered how chocolate is made? Then you should definitely pay a visit to the Chocolate Museum in Cologne. The museum is located directly on the Rhine and is one of the 10 most visited museums in Germany with over 650,000 visitors annually. 
During a professional guided tour of the museum, you will learn interesting facts about the cultivation of cocoa beans, the importance of roasting the beans and why conching chocolate is important. The highlight of the tour is the final tasting session, during which you will be able to sample some of the best fine chocolates in the world. The tour, including the tasting, lasts about 90 minutes. Afterwards, you will definitely no longer be satisfied with normal chocolate. 4711 Traditional House in the Glockengasse 4711, or Cologne Water, is one of the most famous and oldest brands in the world. Originally, Kölnisch Wasser was not intended as a perfume, but as an internal remedy. In 1792, the merchant Wilhelm Mullins received the recipe as a gift from a monk. The recipe has hardly been changed since then. However, some EU requirements made slight modifications necessary. The main ingredients of the perfume are lemon, orange, neroli, petit grain, lavender, bergamot and rosemary. Of course, the 4711 contains a few more ingredients, but they are kept strictly confidential by the company. The perfume is said to be relaxing, calming and anti-inflammatory. Public tours of the Fragrance Museum are offered every Saturday. Learn all about 4711's traditional past. In Glockengasse, you have the opportunity to participate in fragrance seminars. Under the guidance of experts, you will compose your own eau de cologne and learn about the profession of a perfumer. Cologne Triangle In 2006, the Cologne Triangle, LVR Tower for short, was completed. The tower, with a height of 103 meters, serves mainly as an office building, but has a 400 square meter viewing platform on the 29th floor. With a view over the entire city and Cologne Cathedral, the best vacation photos are guaranteed to be taken. With optimal visibility, both Dusseldorf and the Siebinger can be seen on the horizon. If you get hungry after this unique view, take time for a snack at Mongo's restaurant, located on the first floor of the tower. The restaurant offers a culinary journey throughout Asia and is known for its innovative cuisine. Historic City Hall The City Hall of Cologne consists of two parts, on the one hand the historic City Hall and on the other hand the Spanish building directly opposite. Both buildings are centrally located in the Old Town, surrounded by the Rathausplatz and the Old Market. Both the Town Hall Tower and the Hansa Hall, the actual showpiece of the Town Hall, were badly damaged during the Second World War. Only with great effort it was possible to reconstruct both the tower and the hall. A special highlight of the Town Hall Tower is the much-praised Carillon. Four times a day the bells of the Town Hall Tower ring out. The selection includes 24 pieces of music, which change regularly. Melodies by Black Foos, Jupp Schmitz or Jacques Offenbach are only a small selection. A tour of the Town Hall is possible by appointment with the tourist office. Parks after an eventful day, let your soul dangle in one of the numerous parks. Cologne is not only considered a city of trade fairs and culture, but also offers numerous green spaces for recreation. In the heart of the cathedral city, the Volksgarten is considered the largest and also the oldest park in the cathedral city. The park is located in the south of Cologne near the Saxon Ring near the Eiffelplatz. In addition to numerous green spaces that invite you to relax and barbecue, the park also offers a unique attraction for pedal boat lovers with its 5.5 hectare pond. Directly on the pond, where not only the ducks feel at home, is the Heller's Beer Garden. In this atmosphere, the Kolsch tastes twice as good. Of course, the Volksgarten is not the only park worth seeing in the city. Also the Beethoven Park is a dog paradise, the botanical garden with its numerous exotic plants, but also the Rhine Park between the Deutz Fair and the Mulheim Harbour are worth a visit. Conclusion Cologne, of course, offers many more sites. With this top 10 list, you definitely have a valuable guide at hand to explore the most important sites of the city in a few days.